HIV is a retrovirus that relies on the body's immune system to replicate. The primary target of HIV is the CD4 positive T cell. The first step in the HIV replication cycle is the entry of a virion into a host T cell. This entry process begins with the interaction of the HIV envelope glycoprotein and the T cell CD4 receptor. CD4 is a transmembrane glycoprotein with an extracellular region that is folded into four distinct domains designated D1 to D4. Envelope glycoproteins are arranged on the surface of the enveloped HIV virion as a series of spikes. Each spike is heavily coated in glycan molecules which help shield the virion from the body's immune system. At the core of each spike is a trimer of two types of viral proteins, GP120 and GP41. Viral entry begins when the GP120 active site binds to the D1 domain of CD4. This binding causes a structural shift in the envelope glycoprotein, exposing a second active site of GP120. This second active site then binds to one of two co-receptors on the T-cell surface. CCR5 or CXCR4. The required co-receptor depends on the genetic strain of HIV. The binding of GP120 to the co-receptor causes another structural shift in the envelope glycoprotein, resulting in shedding of GP120 and the exposure of GP41. GP41 is then inserted into the T-cell membrane facilitating the fusion process that allows the virion to insert its genetic content into the T-cell. The process of viral transcription and replication can then occur within the host T-cell. After a virion has replicated within a T-cell, the cell is subsequently destroyed. Once HIV has reduced the body's T-cell count below a critical level, approximately 200 cells per cubic millimeter, the immune system is compromised and become susceptible to infection and disease.